briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1987, the Oregon Supreme Court heard the case Best v. United States National Bank, centering on whether banks could charge customers more than what they would reasonably expect to pay for services, such as processing bounced checks. The U.S. National Bank charged depositors' fees for processing non-sufficient fund, NSF, checks, leading plaintiffs, including Lonnie and Teresa Best, to argue that these fees were illegal as they exceeded the bank's actual processing costs. Since there was no prior agreement between depositors and the bank regarding NSF fees, the bank was expected to set fees within reasonable expectations. The case went to court to determine if the fees were established in good faith by the bank. Though U.S. National Bank was authorized to set deposit account service charges, state laws that limited or prohibited charges were preempted by federal law. The circuit court certified three of the plaintiff's claims as class actions, with only the breach of good faith claim being upheld on appeal. The Court of Appeals upheld the circuit court's decision, deeming unconscionability largely inapplicable in this case and granting summary judgment. The circuit court's judgment on the depositor's breach of good faith claim was reversed and the case was remanded for further proceedings. Thus, depositors could claim for a breach of good faith which would limit the bank's ability to set NSF fees. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.